Hello. I believe our ancestors left behind texts, prayers, and other scripts that we could use at times of confusion, disorientation, chaos, a bit like these times now. And that these prayers would bring us solace, bring us a sense of balance, would help us to harmonize, not only with ourselves, but with the bigger picture, with who we are. And I believe that the 23rd Psalm is one of these prayers. And in no disrespect to any tradition, I believe it also aligns to our chakra system, our energy system. It goes through the steps of how to find healing for ourselves during these times. And so I'm going to pass through the text with you and explain from my point of view, it's just mine, how this can help us and what the text may mean on an energetic level. The first place we're going to be going is to the root chakra. And the root chakra is one that many don't connect to. It's nine feet beneath our feet, three meters under our feet. And through this runs eternal creative energy. And we became disconnected from this about 3,000 years ago, which was very much in the center of the age of Aries, the shepherd, the shepherd who looks after the sheep. And we hear references to the shepherding in the 23rd Psalm and make it really important that we connect now to this root chakra to start the story. So follow me now as we pass through these energy centers, these chakras, and I will give my explanation of what I think the 23rd Psalm can help us with at this time. So the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Now again, at this time, when this was written, it was about shepherds and the people being the sheep, we're going to take care of you. Now we're in the Piscean age, that explanation may change. You may wish to change that word, the Lord, <clears throat> to God, or the Great Mother, or the Creator. But it's suggesting that we are going to be taken care of. As long as we keep, if I may say, rooting into Mother Earth, that there is this eternal source of energy for us that we shall not want. And the next line takes us to the base chakra. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Green pastures, lying down, base chakra. Our base chakra is often very active, wanting to do, do, do. It's where we have in the past gained our security, our sense of belonging. But what the 23rd Psalm is saying is that when we connect deeply to our Lord, Great Mother, God, beneath our feet, we can relax in our base chakra. We no longer have to be so active. So we can lie down on green pastures. It's interesting, lying down. We can rest. He leadeth me beside still waters, sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is to do with our relationships, but it's also to do within those relationships with our emotional entanglement. It's the place where we probably feel the most hurt, the most disappointed, the most frustrated. It's our relationships that offer us that opportunity to grow, but also can become very sticky and cause us to feel not still, not calm. So that when we root into Mother Earth and we rest in our base chakra, knowing that we belong, that we're secure, we can find that our relationships will also quieten down. And our water does not need to be so turbulent. So quietening that water, imagining that you have a bowl of water in your sacral chakra. And in that bowl of water, you want to make sure that it is not turbulent. So imagine just taking our awareness down to our roots, down to our feet, down to our sacred chakra, sacral chakra, and saying, I will keep that center of gravity still, the lower danton. And then he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of right paths of righteousness for his name's sake. This is the solar plexus. 
he restores my soul. It's when I'm feeling okay about myself in my solar plexus, not affected by approval or criticism, I will be on the right path. Our solar plexus is our psychic center, our emotional center. <clears throat> we can very much get pulled in all directions. It's the place where we can experience judgment, shame, not doing enough, feeling we have to be better, I don't deserve. So when we feel okay about ourselves, we know we're on the right path. We know that we are being led through our psychic abilities to be able to know what is right and attracting into our life those things that will honor that rightness. And now we have this next piece, which is often the reason why the 23rd Psalm is read at the passing of someone. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. What this means is when we're in our heart chakra, we fear no evil because there is no separation. Our heart chakra is the place where we have deep connection, deep connection to ourselves, to our soul, to everyone else. So evil is that which is seen as separate. So when we are in our heart chakra, there is no separation. There's just pure connection. And it's at that time we are connected to our divine source, so the cosmic plan, to our God, to our goddess, whatever you, you believe, that center of the creatrix, the energy. This is in our heart chakra where we say, I am that I am. There is no separation. So the valley and shadow of death is, even though I'm walking through the time where I may not know what's going on, I'm in the mystery. Because I'm connected to my heart, I trust that connection. I trust the love. I trust that I'll know. And at this moment, it's not important that I know. That intuitive knowing is at the heart chakra. But even though I feel that everything is dark, I know it's okay. And then, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And this very much tied into the idea of the shepherd. So the rod and the staff, sometimes they were the same thing, they were the same object. The staff was, sometimes it was used to, for the shepherd to sleep, but sometimes with its hook was to draw the sheep back into the, into the tribe, <laughs> into the flock. And the rod sometimes gave a poke, <laughs> but it also gave direction. This is throat chakra. So that when we are clear in our thinking and we allow that to align to our heart chakra, we know where we are going. So the rod and the staff are directing ourselves through clear thinking, clear sightedness, which also takes us up to the third eye. The third eye, if you understand, is in between the other two eyes, but it actually becomes like a shepherd's crook. So that when we're following our third eye, when we're following the will, our divine will, then everything is in alignment. That prepares to table before me in the presence of my nine enemies. And this is merely that the table is the third eye there. It's two different parts of us are coming together, the, the vision that we had and the actions we took. And thine enemies is not someone else's enemies. It's just we see everything, we have clarity. The word is discernment. So again, when our thinking is clear, when we're not in confusion, when we're not anxious, we see things. We may see things that are not in alignment with us, but we actually know what we want to do. So the discernment allows us to make decisions that are in harmony with us. And then to the crown chakra, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. We see the crown chakra as a cup. And when we bring this energy up from the root chakra, up through our body, through all these different chakras, we literally are anointed. And the anointment is as if we are enlightened. It's a sense of blessing. So when 
we align to all these different energies, we receive the blessing of being able to see the light, to be one with the light. And finally, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This takes us up into the stargate, which is above our head. And the stargate chakra is the one where we make connection to other realms, other dimensions. So I'd say when we bring this all together and we climb the ladder to the stargate, we're able to experience ourselves on so many different levels. I hope this is helping you. Maybe you know the song, the way of singing this. Singing is a very powerful way of alignment. But even if we together just go through the wording, understand this was a deep, deep message left to us by our ancestors for times like this. Many blessings now. Thanks for listening to the Heart Speak Podcast with Dr. Christine Page. Please check out all Heart Speak episodes in the podcast archive section on www.christinepage.com. Heart Speak is also available on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and now playing on iHeartRadio. You can also watch the archive podcasts on YouTube. Connect with Christine on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook, including her newest Facebook group, The Great Mother Calling. Do share with family, friends, colleagues. Join us next time for another edition of Heart Speak.